Today we're going to discuss the placement of the angel catheter at the patient's bedside. First step is to prepare the catheter. We're going to take a standard saline flush and we're going to flush each of the lumens with approximately two cc's. Flushing the white port and clamping, flushing the blue port and clamping, flushing the brown port which is the guideway port. We'll leave that unclamped. Next we need to remove the filter from the packaging. We want to do that by pushing down on the white tabs and retracting the teal portion of the catheter until we feel slight resistance and see the stop text. Now the filter is safely within the sheet and can be removed from the packaging. Now we're ready to insert the angel catheter. First we want to activate the hydrophilic coating by taking sterile saline and wiping down the external part of the catheter. You will access the femoral vein by using the Seldinger technique. If you want to use ultrasound, you can. Go ahead and access the femoral vein. Now we're gonna insert our 035 100 centimeter wire. It's good to place a little bit over half of the wire into the patient. Now we'll take our nine French dilator and we will dilate the vascular anatomy. Prior to inserting the catheter, you want to make sure that the pad printing is up. Okay, and we'll go ahead and insert the angel catheter all the way to the hub. To deploy the filter, we will retract the white portion of the locking hub to the teal portion. By retracting the white portion of the locking hub, we will be unsheathing the filter, exposing the radiopaque marker at the distal tip, as well as the proximal tip, and the nitinol filter. I will demonstrate that in the model. Again, it's important to hold the teal portion steady and retract the white hub and lock it into the teal. When finished deploying the filter, you should always have approximately seven centimeters of the catheter outside the access site. Optimal placement of the filter is having the apex of the filter below the level of the renal veins, typically around L2. This can be accomplished by identifying the radiopaque marker in the distal tip, placing the radiopaque marker of the distal tip right at the top of L2, placing the apex of the filter in its proper position. It may be necessary to reposition the filter prior to securement. This can be done by utilizing the centimeter markings on the catheter and pulling back to the desired location. Once you have it in its desired location, you can take confirm KUB, remove your wire, and flush your brown lumen. To secure the catheter, take the suture wing and place approximately one centimeter above the access site. Lock into place with the overclamp and suture to the skin. Now you can place your bio patch around the catheter and apply the tegaderm dressing. Place the orange sticker provided with the package to identify this as the angel catheter. And lastly, take the excess suture material and tie it around the eyelets of the locking clamp to secure the filter into place.